Nintendo is slowly but surely revealing the rest of their plans as Pikmin 3 Deluxe just got announced, but we're still waiting on everything else. Like, when's the next Direct? Where's the Mario Anniversary Collection? What the heck is going on? Well, what's going on is a lot more Switch sales, and we got some phenomenal first-party deals, some pre-order deals that are sweet, and then a lot of lowest-price-ever eShop extravaganza. So buckle in, smash that like button if you like getting your Switch games cheap thanks to these videos. Make sure to let me know which games you're interested in picking up, and if you have any recommendations for other viewers or friends, that would be great. Now, before we dive in, I've got a deal for you, and it only lasts for one more day. If you're looking to spice up and beautify your Switch here in 2020, me and Dbrand have worked together to orchestrate a Switch Force portal. You got 15% off store-wide with the code SWITCHFORCE, and they just unleashed their incredible pastel skins that look marvelous. They are so bright and so beautiful, but at the same time, not too in your face, and that's what I love about this collection. Plus, it reminds me of that super sweet limited edition AC switch that sold out instantly. You know, the one with the pastel blue and the pastel green Joy-Con? Now you can make that yourself. These skins are super high quality. I highly recommend them. And every single purchase helps out Switch Force. So if you're looking for a good deal on a skin that will last forever, isn't sticky or messy, and will feel good on your Switch and look even better, check it out. The link is in the description down below. 24 hours to go. The code is Switch Force. 15% off. Now then, let me take you to Amazon.com for a little pre-order discount on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is one of my most anticipated Switch third-party releases, and I was so bummed when it got delayed out of this summer. It's coming later this fall, and they've got it for 17% off down to $49.94. This is becoming a bit of a trend on other platforms to see brand new titles hit 50 before they launch. Even Cyberpunk 2077, which is a mega game in development for like seven, eight, nine years, that's seen a $50 discount. And now LEGO Star Wars on Switch is getting it as well. This game should release day and date with its PS4 and Xbox One counterparts. It looked phenomenal when I saw a demo at E3. It's got dancing for every character and probably Baby Yoda. So where can you go wrong? You just can't. I am absolutely enthralled by this title and I cannot wait to pick it up for cheap. We also have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and as Nintendo continues to dive into the Wii U barrel, bringing back Pikmin 3, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was a $40 game now it's $32.84. It's 18% off over on Amazon. There's a little bit of delay on the shipping, so note that. But I think this game is totally worth about $32. They added DLC that incorporates Mario Odyssey stages, which is super sick. And I think it's just a very clever, unique game that will help you pass the time till Nintendo decides to put something else out. Over at Best Buy, they've got a first-party discount bonanza, $10 off. Basically all the big ones, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Party, Zelda Breath of the Wild, but I want to target two for you in particular, which are Splatoon 2, I love this game, and I feel like we might be getting sneakily close to Splatoon 3, or at least an announcement. It seems odd that that game would release, but if you look at the calendar, it's been almost three full years since Splatoon 2, so we're like ready for a sequel. The game did incredible, it has a huge following, and went from a new IP that seemed awkward to one of Nintendo's biggest new franchises. Maybe they spin off first, then go three. Maybe they do the direct sequel, then a spin off. Maybe they do a combo huge game. I don't know. But 50 bucks for Splatoon 2 is nice. And I want to point out Astral Chain at $50 and Kirby Star Allies. Now, I think Kirby Star Allies is a title that does not get any love, but there is rumor that they are close to a new Kirby entry. This game came out two and a half years ago, so we're approaching that three year gap. And Star Allies saw a lot of nice updates that improved this game. So if you've been looking for something co-op that's a little bit uh, easier and a little less stressful, but still has beautiful artwork and some really awesome ideas and mechanics, consider picking up Star Allies. But they also have like so many other games like Pokemon Tournament and uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. They've got Mario Tennis Aces. They've got a lot. So Best Buy, link in the description down below. Over on the eShop, we got Skulls the Shogun Bonafide Edition, $5. That is 75% off till August 16th, lowest price ever. Amazing multiplayer game. It's phenomenal. It is a turn-based strategy game with beautiful art. There also is a single-player campaign, and it's just freaking fantastic. There's online play. Uh, I love playing as asynchronous. So it's like really fantastic, like take a turn, someone else takes a turn, you take a turn, and they take, oh, it's, just, it's so good. And you're strategically moving your armies around, capturing points, defeating dudes, it's phenomenal, you gotta buy it, it's absolutely great. A Switch Force Zack seal of approval. 
Puzzle and Dragon's Gold is a game that we actually played a bunch of on the channel. And while it's not my favorite title, I'll be honest with you, it's 33% off down to $10 till August 20th, lowest price ever. I think at $10, this game is really cool if you are a match puzzle fan. It requires a lot more skill than I expected. I dove in and expected I would just kind of work my way through the levels and get high scores and defeat my opponents. No. People are crazy good at this game, and you are using the touchscreen to move these gems around in absolute insane speeds. But if you get good at it, it's very satisfying. You get to build out your monster lineup, your dragon lineup. It's pretty nifty and pretty cool. Now, I want to go to Cave Blazers, which is please buy this game. 374 that puts it at a whopping 75% off till August 26th, lowest price it's been. It's fantastic. It is a one more run type roguelike. You're going to like it a lot. You're going to play it a lot and you're going to play it some more. And at 374, you basically just need 30 minutes of fun or an hour of fun and you're good. But I think you'll have a lot more because they do have daily challenge runs, a lot of big boss battles, character customization. There is uh, overall unlocks, like a meta game as you unlock more and more. And since we're waiting for Rogue Legacy 2, which saw a COVID delay, play Cave Blazers. It's actually really fun. Iconoclast is $9.99. That's 50% off till August 21st, the lowest price ever. And this is a wonderful Metroidvania style game. It is a platforming action adventure. Uh, there is a lot of beautiful art. Um, and there are a lot of really big boss battles. Plus, it has a lot of love poured into this one. Seven years in development. Uh, it's got, you know, a lot of, I think, really nicely integrated mechanics with the music, the story, with the environments. It's just a very well put together indie game. Uh, I like it. I recommend it 50% off. It's a good buy. We also have Urban Trial Tricky which is down to $8.99. That's the lowest price ever, 40% off till August 27th. This is a trick-based bike game. And because Trial Rising is not my favorite, I've experimented with a lot of other bike games on the Switch. And there's actually quite a few that are really fun. So if you want to give this a go, it is 60 FPS. There are a bunch of levels. Uh, there is no online play or anything like that, but there are leaderboards, which are fun to compete against. Um, it's got a clever style, cool tricks, cute environments, and it's not too bad at $8.99. Not my favorite game, but one to keep your eyes on. Now, Gabe would say buy nine parchments for $5.99, 70% off till August 20th, the lowest it's ever been. This is a stunner of a title, visually. Um, it's got a little bit of like a Magicka vibe if you ever played that. It's a co-op action RPG made by Frozen Bite, who created Trine, um, and it does have online play, it does have local co-op, and you're mixing in and matching magic to move through these levels. Uh, it's pretty good for a co-op experience. At $20, I think it's still like a solid title, but at $5.99, it's like a no-brainer. It's really enjoyable. You could actually buy three copies of this for under the $20 retail price and have you and some of your friends enjoy some low-key, uh, but still challenging co-op RPG action. We've got Hand of Fate 2 for $9.89, which is down 67% off till August 20th, lowest it's been. This is an interesting card action title. I don't love Hand of Fate, but I know a lot of people are impressed by it. Basically, you're playing a card game, and then it turns into real-time combat, which is a really interesting idea. It doesn't work perfectly for me, but I know Hand of Fate is beloved uh, by, you know, at least a cult following. Enough so that they made a sequel and it was successful. And if you're like, hey, I want my card game, but I want more action instead of like card game Slay the Spire or, you know, uh, SteamWorld Quest, this is a nice mix-up. It's a genre blend that, that does work pretty well, even though it's not my favorite. Um, and at $9.89, it's a lot better than $30. Killer Queen Black is $13.99. It's not the lowest ever, but it is 30% off till August 21st. And this is a multiplayer game that I may have to get in on. I love Towerfall. I love Speedrunners. I love Ultimate Chicken Horse. And Killer Queen Black has been described as that but team base, and that was what turned me off, but maybe I can round up some friends. It's four on four multiplayer, strategic team platformer. Will you be the queen, the soldier, or the worker? I've heard it has a lot of frenetic fun, a lot of chaotic and intense conclusions, and it looks like a good time. I wanna see what all the hoopla is about, so I think I'll get in at $13.99, and maybe you should as well. Now, QuakeCon is about to roll on through, so of course Bethesda is putting its Switch lineup on sale. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is actually the lowest price it's ever been on the eShop. 30 bucks, it's 50% off till August the 11th. That doesn't sound like a super low price because I believe we've seen it hit 20 physically, but it is the lowest it's been digitally, so it's a good port, it's a good game. If you haven't somehow played it, you might as well. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is also $30, not the lowest ever. Wolfenstein Youngblood Deluxe Edition is 20 bucks, which is also not the lowest price ever, but $20 to get a Wolfenstein co-op game, and the Deluxe Edition allows you to play with somebody else, which is fantastic. $10, basically each split it, and you can play it. I like that a lot. 
I don't know, it's not the best Wolfenstein. I think two new Colossus is better, uh, but this has been cheaper, and $20 for co-op co Wolfenstein is still pretty sweet. Doom Eternal is supposedly coming at some point soon, so I would not pay $30 for Doom 2016. What I would do, though, is pay $249 for Doom 64. That's the lowest it's been, 50% off till August the 11th, and I like this Doom. I think Doom is a fun game, even in 2020, like we're talking old Doom. And why go back and play Doom 2016 when Eternal is eventually coming? Spend $2.50, grab Doom 64, and have a good time. There's over 30 levels, it runs really well, it looks good, and it's, it's gonna feel different, obviously, if you're not used to playing games from this era. But I still think for someone who is not familiar with N64 or, or this era of shooters, it still is cool. It's a great thing to take on the go with your Switch. It's really cheap, and it'll prep you for Doom Eternal. Now, Level Head is $15.99. That's the lowest it's ever been. It's only 20% off, but it's the lowest it's been till August the 10th, and it's a quality product. This is Mario Maker 2 without the Nintendo license, and it's cross-play, cross-save, cross-platform. So even if it doesn't have a huge Switch audience, there is going to be a ton of levels from the PC side of things. You can play co-op, you can create co-op levels, a lot of really nice creation tools. I had fun messing around with the suite that they provide, and if you're just, you've soaked up all the goodness that Mario Maker 2 has to offer, or you just want that idea but cheaper, or you just for some reason don't like Mario, I think $15.99 is a good price to get in on level head, and whether you want to create or play or do both, there's campaign levels, obviously there are a plethora of fan created levels and then eventually maybe you can make a magical miracle yourself fury unleashed is 11.99 that's the lowest it's been 40 percent off till august 21st i don't think i'd recommend this game at 20 but at 12 it feels nice it is a roguelite title it is a platformer and the shooting is not great but it's comic book art style it's interesting upgrade ideas and it's multitude of weapons make it a pretty fun lighthearted affair and I did enjoy my time with the game, big bosses, and uh, if you're looking to just get in on something that's not the typical Dead Cells roguelite or the typical, uh, it's like Contra roguelite, right? And there's a combo system that the more you shoot, the quicker you get them, the better your score and the more that you go through. Now, the better you, you, you move your way through the levels, the better upgrades. I, I like the system that it has. You can play local co-op on this one, no online, um, but $12, it's not too bad. Cat Quest 2 is the lowest it's ever been. 10.49, 30% off till August the 21st. Are you sick of teenage whiny boy RPGs? How about some feline fanciness? Cat Quest 2 is a 2D open world action RPG with active combat fighting against the evil cats. I've been missing the feline lifestyle lately, so I kind of am intrigued by this. It does have local co-op if you want to play two cats are better than one. And I don't know, it's just kind of a quirky title that it's the lowest price ever. I wanted to highlight it. Galaxy V Void Deluxe Edition is $374. Lowest price ever till August 21st. That's a whopping 67% off, which is, of course, a good sale. This is a space shooter roguelite. We're just getting all the roguelites. Every kind of roguelite you could have. Contra and space shooters and platformers. This one's pretty nifty if you do like the space idea as you move through trying to survive, upgrade your ship and pilot, and get ready to go. Uh, I think if you go and you grab, like, Galaxy for $374, Skulls the Shogun for $4.99, and Cave Blazers for $3.74, that's like a fantastic way to spend $10. You're gonna have so much gameplay, I mean so much roguelite gameplay, but also three totally different games. A platformer roguelite, a space shooter roguelite, and an incredible strategic multiplayer game. Like, that's my recommendation of the week. Pick up those three for about 10 bucks. you are gonna have so much fun. But last but not least, if you want something quirky, Pato Box is $4.49, that's 70% off, till August 17th. This game is Punch-Out, meets Mad World, meets No More Heroes. It's not as good as any of those original franchises, but it's still pretty fun. I wouldn't recommend the game at $15, but at $4.49, the black and white art style, the duck boxing these bosses idea is enjoyable. And I was really looking forward to this game. It did not deliver as best as it could have, but it's still an interesting time. There is motion control support, by the way, if you want to get back in that arms groove, um, but I prefer to play with the buttons so it feels a little bit more retro. So, Pato Box is $4.49, and you can grab it now. As I said, Cave Blazers and Skulls the Shogun are really, really great recommendations, but I think Nine Parchments as well for $5.99 is a great pickup, plus Doom 64 at $2.49, and then look, I think LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is going to go down as one of the best third-party titles on Switch this year, so you might as well grab it while you've got the discount. 
And then, hey, if you're looking for a way to deck out your Switch, protect it, keep it feeling good and looking even better, we've got one day left of our awesome dbrand sale. 15% off every single skin you buy helps support the channel. So check them out. Their pastels are perfect. Link in the description down below. Until the time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button if you like getting your Switch games cheap. Let me know what games you're targeting in the comments. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. I love you guys so much. Switch Force. Out.